everyone, my name is Yolanda and I want to welcome you to the wonderful and fun world of crochet. Crochet is a great way to learn how to, um, a new skill that will allow you to express your creativity, make beautiful things and to distress. Um, I also wanted to teach you some of the basic stitches that you will need so to get you on your way. Um, and also, I didn't just want to teach you how to do the stitches, but a little bit more so that you could be able to learn how to read uh, diagram uh, symbols. So if you're working on a diagram pattern and also how to read the crochet abbreviations, this will help you to be able to read patterns. Once you learn how to read patterns, a whole world will open up to you and it's really wonderful. Also, I wanted to be sure that I included some of the most used stitches uh, in crochet, the basic stitches, so you'll learn how to chain, how to slip stitch, single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, treble crochet, and those type of stitches that you use every day. Anyway, I hope you will enjoy this course. Please be sure to leave any comments or questions you have. Try to complete some of the, answer some of the questions I ask you here. I hope you have fun learning together, and let's get the party started. Okay, the next stitch we're going to learn is the single crochet three together. The previous stitch we learned, we turned two stitches into one stitch, two single crochets into one single crochet, and that was this stitch. Now here for the single crochet together, if you see it in a diagram, it looks like a little V and uh, an upside down little cross in there. So it's just like hash dash, three little dashes. So just like that, that would be the symbol in a diagram. It's usually abbreviated SC3TOG, which is single crochet three together. Usually you don't see it all written out like this in a pattern. Um, when you're writing patterns, you're trying to abbreviate and make it easier to read. So let me show you what that stitch actually looks like. It is a decrease where we're taking three stitches and turning them into one stitch. And a lot of times it's used for shaping or um, well, mostly shaping or to reduce the number of stitches in your row. So here I have one row of single crochet and here I have one stitch of a single crochet to get ready. So when we single crochet three together, we're gonna be working over the next three stitches, one, two, and three. We're gonna be turning all these three stitches into only one. So it's also called a single crochet decrease or uh, decrease three together or something, but usually it's spelled SC3 and then TOG. So here it's the same like the double, the two single crochet, except we're gonna add a third stitch. So here we're gonna go into our next stitch. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna pull out. There's two loops, I don't close it yet. Go into my next stitch, pull out. Now I have three loops and then into the third stitch. So now you will have four loops of yarn on your hook. You're gonna grab your yarn and then you go through all four at the same time. And so now we've turned, you can see all of these stitches here have been turned into this one stitch on top. See that? Let me show you once again. So here then, if you want it, you can go slowly um, to until you learn. You're gonna go in here, pull out your next stitch, that's one, one time. Then the second stitch, that's the second stitch, single crochet, and then the third. So now we're gonna have four loops of yarn on your hook, one, two, three, four. You're gonna grab your yarn and you're gonna work it through all four loops, through all your loops, okay? So all these three, you can see here, one, two, three stitches have become one stitch. And that is how you would do a single crochet decrease. I'm gonna work just two regular single crochets in the end so I could show you what that decrease would look like. So here, of course, that would be working two, two of these three single crochets together. And you, like I said, you could use it for shaping, on collars, on baby shoes. You see a lot of these like single crochet two together because you're gonna be shaping um, usually the toes of shoes or whatever. So these, that is a three single crochets together where we turn three stitches into one. So we are decreasing our stitch count. Okay, the next stitch we're gonna be learning is a double crochet two together or a double crochet decrease. If you're looking, if you're working on a diagram type of pattern, this is the symbol that you would see. Basically two double crochets, the little T, and then our little slashes here. Remember, double crochet symbol is just this, 
with one slash. So here, we're just gonna see those together, the dash across. And if you see it written in a pattern, it's abbreviated DC2 and then TOG, double crochet two together, also known as a double crochet decrease. So basically what we're doing is that we're turning two stitches into one. So here I've already, uh, let's pretend that this is a row double crochet here, although it's a single crochet, it's still this, I'm still um, gonna show you what I'm gonna be doing. Here I chain three to go up for my double crochet, did one double crochet and now we're ready to start our decreases. So here we're gonna be do working over the next two stitches to create one stitch. So we're gonna yarn over just like a regular double crochet. So you yarn over, meaning you wrap your yarn over your hook, go into our next stitch, we're gonna pull out our stitch. We have three loops of yarn on our hook. You're gonna pull through the first two, but we don't close it yet because we're gonna treat, treat this as the first half of our decrease and then here will be our second half. So here, one, two loops. This loop is corresponds to the first double crochet. This one is to your working yarn. So once again, I'm gonna yarn over once again, go into my next stitch, pull up, now I want to close this off so I'm going to go through the it's a little bit different because now I'm going to go one two three this is acting like the working yarn and so here we're going to go through the first three loops now we have two loops on the yarn see we've decreased these two stitches into one and now we're going to pull to close that stitch so now if I was on the previous row you would see that there was two stitches but now those st stitches have been turned into this one stitch. So it's, these two are now one stitch, it's decreased. See that? So let me show you once again. Remember you could always stop and rewind the video at any time. So let's do another decrease over the next two stitches here. So we're gonna yarn over, go into our next stitch. We pull out our hook. Now we'll have three loops like a normal uh, double crochet pull through the first two. We're not going to close it yet. So this is working for the working yarn and this is from the first double crochet. We're going to repeat that again. You're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull up. Now here we're going to have four loops. So here we want to pull through the first two. You have three loops there. See, here's the first double crochet, the second double crochet, and your working yarn. So now we're gonna pull through all three. Now we have turned those two stitches. Move the yarn here. We have moved, turned these two stitches, if you look up here, into one. You see that? These are both connected into this one stitch. So that is our second uh, decrease that I've done here on this row. Let me do one more. Yarn over, go into the next stitch, pull out your yarn. There'll be three loops. We're gonna pull through the first two. Leave that on there. Yarn over again, go into the next stitch, pull up. Now you'll have four loops. We're gonna pull through the first three to close those, see these two single, to these two double crochets have, are becoming one stitch. And then we finish off our stitch there. If we wanted to do one last one, since I have two more, I'll do one more to show you. There's two. Yarn over again. I'm gonna pull through all three, the first three. You'll have two left. And then finish off your last three. And so now you have decreased the number of stitches and see how it's starting to shape. A lot of times, um, the decreases are used to shape uh, different garments, shoes, uh, collars, sleeves, whatever it is to reduce the number of stitches and to give some shaping. So that is the double crochet two together. The next stitch I want to teach you is the double crochet three together. Now in this stitch, this is what the symbol would look like in a graph diagram. Um, pattern and it would be just three of these with the one little slash 
and then a T on top. So basically what it is, is we're going to turn three double crochets, three stitches, excuse me, into one stitch. So here, um, this uh, stitch is usually used for shaping and or for eliminating some of the stitches in a row. So here I've already started my double crochet row. It's here on top of a single crochet. So what we would be doing is we're going to be working our stitch over the next three stitches. So it's one, two, and three. These three stitches would then become one stitch. So here to do the double crochet three together, we're going to yarn over. We're going to go into our next stitch here. We're going to pull out. You'll have three loops. You're going to go through those first two and you'll have two loops left. You're going to yarn over again. Go over the next stitch, go up. You will have four loops there. Now here, I only want to go through those first two and now I have three left. Here, I go back in one more time. This is the third time. I'm going to pull in through the first pull through the first two. Now I have four loops on my hook and now I want to join all these three to create one stitch. So now here, I'm going to pull, go grab my yarn and pull through all four stitches. And now if you see here, let me move my hook, we have created all these three stitches. We have turned that into one stitch here. So you can see how they're all together here with the three stitches. Let me show you once more. So those three would turn into one. See how these three, if you look on top, it's only one stitch. See, here's one stitch and then one stitch. So here, once again, let me show you once again, you're going to yarn over, go into the next stitch. Pull out your yarn. We'll have three loops. Go through the first two. Leave those two on there. Yarn over one more time. We're going into the second double crochet. Pull out. We'll have four loops. Pull through the first two. Leave those remaining loops on there, the three loops. Yarn over once again. Go into the third stitch. Pull up. Now we have one, two, three, four, five stitches. Oh, excuse me, five loops, not stitches. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to pull through the first two loops. We have four loops left. And now here to close all these three stitches into one, we're going to pull through all three stitches. So now we have created one stitch out of these three. And you could see how it's already bending, how it would bend the stitches there. So it would be decreased using decreasing. Here I'm just going to finish with two, uh, one double crochet in each of the next two stitches just to show you what that decrease looks like. So here, if we look up here, these are the regular double crochets. One, two, if I look up here, it's one, two. Those correspond with these stitches. Now here, the next one, there's only one stitch, but if I look below, I've turned one, two, three into one stitch. The same thing here, one, two, three. If I look to the top, it's converted into one stitch. So now here, I have worked two, all these decreases next to each other. So there's the six stitches have now become two stitches. So that is how you work a double crochet three together. The next stitch or technique that I wanna show you next is working in the back loop only. And it's just like a little, I guess like a little upside down little loop or half circle there. And the symbol is usually put uh, next to or on the base of the stitch because you could do single crochet, back loop, double crochet, treble crochet, any of the stitches in the back loop only. So it'll have that symbol. So here I found one of the patterns that uh, Kristen, share, Kristen shares in one of her um, books. And here you can see that these double crochet symbols, oh my nails are looking bad, these double crochet symbols here are just telling us to work in the back loop only. They're only the back loop. So here when you do these double crochets, it has that little symbol there, that little half circle. So we know that these stitches will only be worked in the double crochet. And so then see these other stitches are double crochets, but they're not worked in the back loop. So you're going through both of the loops of the stitch where these you're only going to work in the back loop. And if it's the other way around, then it would be in the front loop. So let me show you first the back loop so you don't get confused. So here what we're doing, I have a row of some stitches that I've already prepared. And I want to show you here, if you look at your stitch, when you stitch, go into the stitch, and like say you're going into the next stitch, when you go in, you could see that there's two loops. See the little chain? 
This is the front loop and the back loop. So here in our instructions, if we see this little symbol here, that's the diagram symbol for back loop only. And in the instructions in your pattern, it, if it's written out, it'll tell you working in the back loops only, and it'll give you the instructions on which stitches need to be worked here. So here then, let me show you what that would look like on, on a single crochet. Like I said, you can use any um, stitch. So here, when you just look at like this, you can't really see. If I turn my work over, you could see that stitch, it's like a chain. You have this loop and this loop. Now this loop that is closest to your body, the trunk of your body is the front loop. And then this one, of course, then would be the back loop. So when it tells you to work through the back loop only, I'm just gonna do some single crochets here so that it's easier just to show you. I'm gonna go only in that back loop. I leave that front loop free. So if I pull out, then I would do my single crochet. And now you see that it's gonna use, it's gonna create like a little ridge. Some of this is shaped sometimes for um, baby shoes, different stitches where you only wanna create that little ridge. Here then would be back loop only. The front loop is free. You're going through there. So now when you see that stitch, that front loop is free. I'm only working through the back loop only. See that? Once again, leave that front loop free, back loop only, you pull it out and you do whatever stitch is indicated here. I'm doing the row of single crochet and it helps if you kind of just kind of flip your little row there. Back loop only, single crochet, back loop only single crochet and a lot of times you will alternate back and front loop to create ribbing here back loop only back loop only back loop only okay so this is what it would look like and if you look at it in the back you could see that it's kind of coming this way if I look at it this way, you see here, you could see that it's like ridging, like a little ridge. See that? So that is working in the back loop only. It's created already kind of like a little ridge there. 